Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about processes so I can explain you how to detach some process from your terminal, which is a really useful thing to know if you write shell script. And I'm also going to show you why detaching process from your terminal is not equal to running it in background. So let me open my terminal and one of my favorite command in Linux is PS3. So why this is my favorite command because it tells you how much bloat you are using in your system. So if I just pipe it in list so I can read it and run this command. So as you can see, I'm a true minimalist. I like minimal system. I don't run bloatware. If you use any desktop environment and if you run this command, you will see tons of other things which are, you know, not so useful for your functioning system. But as you can see, so we got a tree of processes. Now this is beautiful and we are going to understand in this video a little bit uh, th about this tree so we can you know use this knowledge to learn how to detach some process from terminal okay so but before that let me tell you a really basic thing about computer so when you write a program in C or any program almost every CLI program like LS or you know sleep command for example is written in C okay and when we run this command we run it uh, in in the shell okay in our you know in shell so what happened is we just create a child process of shell by using this uh, syscall which is four so system call i made a video about it it's basically a way to interact with kernel okay so kernel manage processes and when we want to create a child so when it you know process want to create a child it just use this fork uh, you know fork syscall to just tell the kernel that i want a child and child is basically the copy of the current process so if you are running a shell and then you run some command like sleep command or any c program so basically that c program is a child of the you know the parent process which is the shell so this is what you are looking here so the first process which run in our system is our init system which is system d in my case because i'm using arch linux if you use gen2 then i believe it's open rc if you are using white uh, white linux then i believe it's run it so there are plenty of other init systems and the thing about init system is that um, when you okay the init process you can call it so the pid the process id of the init so service system whatever it is so is one okay so it's like the first stage of booting up your system so the when the kernel get loaded in ram you just start your init process so in my case it's systemd and the job of init uh, process is to spawn other processes which are essential for your working system for example i got this conman d service running so conman is uh, a program which is responsible for my internet okay so this is a really important tool for me and it get run by system d thanks system d for running it as you can see i have a bluetooth headphone so this service this process is also you know run by system d so system d just uh, you know just run all these processes whatever you are looking here and one of the important process is jellyfin so jellyfin is responsible for my you know media services like for example let me just show you if i so it's a service running and it 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 got started by uh, systemd so all the media i consume is by jellyfin i don't use netflix i already told you that so as you can see jellyfin is also running some other processes by using the method of fork fork means you know the syscall but what we care about is this login so if you are using some kind of display manager like light dm or gdm then you you will you will see those display managers but in my case uh, i'm just using tty login so this is why it's uh, it's saying login program okay so after that i'm running this startx startx is basically a program which is responsible for starting the x in it and x in it is basically initializing of xorg so xorg is like a gui thing whatever you're looking here and my xorg start this window manager dwm where i'm working and then dwm run plenty of other tools like dunce for my 
you know like my notification and pycom a you know compositor sh is just some shell i don't know why it runs but it runs okay so x uh, simple x hotkey daemon is for my key binding same thing for my file sync unclutter if i just leave, leave my mouse here after three seconds it will just get fade away all right so this is beautiful like all these parents are creating kids and kids processes are creating more kids and this is like a beautiful family it's a it's a happy family uh, inside my system okay it's a family of um, you know processes so we got some other processes like ssh process i don't know why it's running anybody can ssh in my system from my local network but we don't care about these processes right now we just care about this okay because right now this ps3 which i'm running this command and this less command is also here you can see so i just started st which is my terminal inside st we run this pro you know prompt zsh like shell okay and uh, you know inside this we we just ran these ps3 command and less command now what i want to tell you with this is if i go to this music lane and if i run this mpv and some music for example this music and press enter so i hope you can listen this so ps3 pipe it in less and just you know scale it down a little so try to find mpv here well you can here it is okay so mpv is also spawning some other processes so let me run it again but it doesn't matter like it's just a snapshot so i i started st terminal i started like st terminal started with zsh and if i close zsh then st will die too but whatever it doesn't matter so why i'm showing you all this because okay let me just loop this file this this is pretty annoying like file loop or loop file yeah loop file so if i just put a uh, n percent in the last okay this is what i want to show you so this will run mpv in background all right so mpv is running in background now uh this this doesn't matter so let me start ps3 again now what you can see is there is no difference mpv is still running all right this is and if i type fg i can just come back to my like foreground okay and let me press ctrl c to just exit exit this process now what i want to show you is if i type this command sets id i'm going to detach this process basically right now the parent of this process is the csh which is you know the child of st terminal but if i type sets id and run mpv boom loop loop file okay and press enter so now if i run ps3 again boom there is no mpv where where does the mpv goes let me close the terminal wait the music is still running what the fuck is happening how do i close it well the mpv is here right now so mpv have been detached mpv have no parent like uh, i mean mpv still have parent which is system d uh, according to this ps3 but this is how you can detect some process uh, from your terminal so the the reason why we are doing this if you go to you know uh, any script if you go online and just look at a uh, lot of shell scripts let me close this process so you have the process id copy the id and then kill kill means sending a signal let's just forcefully kill this all right peace so if you go to scripts of uh, for example Leaf smith's white royce and just try to see some scripts so many people they use this command sets id and you might get confused uh, might can get confused what are these things i i was used to get confused so let me just click on local bin bin and just click on this uh, where's that link handler okay so link handler so there are a lot of times when you might really want to use uh, this sets id so for example in this script uh, what he's doing okay i have my own link handler why i am showing you link handler okay sets id so here you can see that this is actually a script for handling links and i know you cannot really see something okay so suppose if i just give a url and if i want to play it with mpv so i i don't want to spawn mpv inside my terminal i i hope you're getting this it's quite tricky actually i'm going to use this script from my neomart so not newsboard not neomart so maybe neomart uh newsboard i always get confused between these two programs so that's it like that's the idea like if you use its id then you don't really have to care about terminal you can close your terminal so 
for example if i go to again music lane and play psx uh, psx psx um so if i run this so if i close this terminal then music is closed but if i go again and type sets id and psx um okay mpv psx and play it so now i can close the terminal and it doesn't matter putting in a background doesn't change anything it's just like you don't see the program but it's there so that's it thanks for watching